Hello everyone, welcome to Set Apart is 144. My name is Sister Mildred. Welcome to this channel. Welcome to this ministry. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to try to be very short and sweet um, and to give, um, to give you guys some encouragement um, and to reveal something what Yah, Abba Yah has revealed to me, okay, um, concerning um, the second exodus and how um, how we will be ex escaping, okay? Um, so stay tuned and, to, and try to hear what I have to say and please test what I'm saying and go go back to y'all um, and, um, and ask for more confirmations as well, okay? Um, yeah, so stay, stay tuned. Next clip. Okay, so... Um, some of you who already know that um, Yah has took me out of my hometown, which is Brooklyn, New York. I was born there, born and raised. Um, he took me, my husband and I, and our four children. He migrated us. He took us out of the state of New York um, uh, three years ago, okay? And he took us here to Texas. We drove here. It was a 24 hour drive. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to share uh, my story. And because Yah, during my secret um, secret time, my, in the secret place with Yah, he has revealed to me the same way, the, the a similar way of how he took me out of New York is how it's going to happen um, when, for the real second exodus when it, when it does happen, uh, when, he's, when he takes us out and he brings us into um, the wilderness, okay? So, three years ago, okay, um, my husband and I, we had gotten a call from our landlord saying, you know, we need to leave um, where we were at, okay? We were staying at a basement, but it came to find out that the basement was not legal to live there. I guess it didn't not, it didn't pass the inspection or something. Um, yeah, so now the um, the landlord um, and told us that we needed to leave by this date. We had a deadline to leave. Okay, <laughs> so around this time, you know, this was like after COVID came, and um, you know. Okay, so um, some of you who already know that um, Yah has took me out of my hometown, which is Brooklyn, New York. I was born there, born and raised. Um, he took me, my husband and I, and our four children. He migrated us. He took us out of the state of New York um, uh, three years ago, okay? And he took us here to Texas. We drove here. It was a 24-hour drive. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to share um, my story. And because Yah, during my secret, um, secret time, my, in the secret place with Yah, he has revealed to me the same way, the, the, a similar way of how he took me out of New York is how it's going to happen um, when, for the real second exodus when it, when it does happen, uh, when, he's, when he takes us out and he brings us into um, the wilderness, okay? So, three years ago, okay, um, my husband and I, we had gotten a call from our landlord saying, you know, we need to leave... Um, where we were at, okay? We were staying at a basement, but it came to find out that the basement was not legal to live there. I guess it didn't, not, it didn't pass the inspection or something. Um, yeah, so now the, um, the landlord um, and told us that we needed to leave by this date. We had a deadline to leave, okay? <laughs> so around this time, you know, this was like after COVID came and... Um, you know, so my husband and I were packing, 
but we don't have a place to move yet, but we're just packing because we know that we have to leave this place, okay? Um, so we, were, we, weren't li we, we weren't leaving on our own will. We were leaving because we were told that we had to leave. So we were just packing, packing, packing. We were looking for places to move to. We were looking for places within the New York area. Um, you know, the, the prices, the, the rent was just too high. Um, we, so we would now start to look like, look for like, um, in places in like New Jersey or Pennsylvania, like surrounding states around New York, um, that are cheaper to live. You know, we were looking for places like that. Um, you know, it was just getting blocked, 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 like everywhere we were looking, looking for, we were, we were actually driving, um, hours and hours um, to go look at the places outside, um, cities that were surrounding New York, like New Jersey, Pennsylvania, um, you know, places like that, okay, we were driving, we were paying, uh, money for application fees, like $50, no, $100, you know, $50 each for each person, for each applicant, so $100, um, for each, uh, uh, place that we were looking for it was we we lost a lot of money time and energy okay because did that was not <laughs> those were not the places that y'all was wanting us to go so <laughs> um yeah it's uh it was it was a long process a very um frustrating uh very frustrating uh oh yeah i remember that <laughs> Around before around that time though, there was like this humongous protesting going on. I I believe a man called George Floyd, um, uh, something happened with the po the police. Okay, around that time, y'all had me in praying and fasting, so I wasn't even focusing on what was going on around me. Um, so y'all was preparing. Um, my family and I, for this big move, y'all was giving us provision, um, and all of this stuff. Like I was shut, I would, I shut the world off. Even my TV went out. Um, it wasn't working around that time. So I, like, I, like I wasn't watching the news. Like I was literally focusing on y'all around that time. So, okay. So the, the date is getting closer and closer and closer. Um, and we still have not found a place to, to, to move to. All right. We have not found a place to move to. All right. Um, we're packing, we're packing, <laughs> we're packing. Um, at this point we're putting things in a, in a storage because we know we have to leave by a deadline. Yeah. We had a deadline and we had to meet that deadline. And, um, so we started putting our things in a storage because, um, uh, we had to leave. We knew we had to leave. So, um, now the same week that we had to, that like the same week we left is the same week we got revealed by ya where to go. Okay, one more time. The same week we left was the same week we found out where we were going from Yah. Because um, I was, we were praying, asking Yah, you know, where should we go? You know, you know, where are we going? Like, where do you want us to go? He revealed this the same week we, ha we left. Okay. <sighs> Yes. So, all of our things were already packed. They were we already had put them in the storage. So all we had to do was just grab those things from the storage and leave. Um the house was empty. We literally emptied out the whole house because we knew we had to leave, but we didn't have a place to go. So, but we we emptied out the place and um so we didn't have to, we didn't have that much time to spend with our families before we left because the same week we left is the same week 
we found out where we were going. So, um, let's say like three days before we left, this is when we told our families, oh, we're moving to Texas. So we drop, we dropped a big ball on them, you know, not, and they, they, you know, they, they didn't take it well, especially my mom. Oh man. She still holds, she still holds this all over me until this day. Um, but she doesn't understand that we were following Yah. We didn't plan this. It wasn't planned like this. It was Yah who planned it this way. He was, because he didn't want the enemy to come and try to stop or delay his plan for, for, for what was going on. So Yah revealed where we were going the same week we left, child. People, people, the people don't want to believe me when I say this. Literally, we like because Yah gave gave us the prov the provision. He made the way. He told us to pack. We packed. We followed him blindly, like through faith. Like everything was just blind, like faith. Um, we did exactly what Yah told us to do. Um, everything was blocked. The New Jersey, Pennsylvania, everything was blocked. He said. Texas, go to Texas. The same week we moved to Texas. While we were leaving for Texas, we were driving. Um, it was not a smooth <laughs> a ride, okay? It was not smooth. Um, there was an instance where we, um, uh, our car stopped. <laughs> I think in the state of um, either Virginia or something like that. And then um, we had to stop. And we stopped like four times. Um, okay, the car got stopped. So my husband had to fix it, to get it fixed. And then um, we were driving through another state where it was pouring down rain and winds. There was an actual, um, like a tornado nearby or something like that. Okay, so yeah. Um, like it says in Revelation 12, verse 15, how the dragon came after the woman while she was fleeing into the wilderness. Um, you know, so that was something similar that Yah made me understand like um, what's going to happen <laughs> when it does actually happen, the second exodus. So when we finally got to Texas, hallelujah, um, we finally got there. We finally got there. Um we find out that, like, a couple of days after, we find out that um, the governor of New York changed to a woman, okay? Um, the governor changed to a woman in New York. So, when that happened, a lot of mandated laws started to uh, get stricter and change in New York, Okay? And if we stayed there, that would have affected us um, because they were saying um, children had to take the V. Yeah, children had to take the, the jab, um, you know, certain, you know, federal jobs, whatever, you know, whatever jobs. I, I, I can't remember, but there were a lot of mandated laws that got changed, that got strict um, right after we left. So that would have affected us, okay? Um, so we left just right on time, right, just in time. And y'all revealing to me again, this is similar to when the antichrist, we're going to, we're fleeing into the wilderness before the antichrist reveals. Himself. So with y'all getting us out of New York, which is, I believe is like the capital of Babylon, like the, one of the major cities of Babylon, okay, a, this a liberal city it's the, that carries the true spirit of Babylon, okay, um, y'all getting us out of Babylon, well, y'all getting us out of New York symbolizes, um, you know, right, right before this new governor, this woman, okay, where it talks about in Isaiah 4, you know, um, not Isaiah 4, Isaiah 3, where it talks about a woman being a leader. Oh man, that's the worst thing you could ever do, is putting a a, a woman as a, a, a in in a, polit a political leader. Um, yeah, judgment. That's judgment. Once you see that, judgment. Run, run, 
Anyway. Whew, okay. So, once we got out of New York, right before this new governor, okay, that's exactly how it's going to happen for um, the second exodus. Right before the Antichrist, you know, Yah's going to get us out into the wilderness right before the Antichrist comes into play. Okay? That's exactly what I'm tr what I'm trying to say. <laughs> right before the um the mark of the beast is enforced where everyone has to take it, you know, Yah is going to take his people out um into safety, into the wilderness, okay? Um he will not leave his chosen, his his faithful servants um behind for that, okay? Um so so Yah revealed to me the way he did it for me, um, when he the way he took me out of New York, the way the way it happened is similar to how it's going to happen with the second exodus, okay? Um, and I actually went through um the spiritual warfare. Leaving New York was not easy. Oh my goodness. Before, there's a whole story for, just for that alone. Um, you know, with my family attacking me, with um my even my doctor was trying to keep me bound and, and bound to New York because I was pregnant at the time. I was six months pregnant at the time. Um and they didn't want to give give up my um what was it called? My uh my records, they were giving me a hard time giving me my, giving my records so I could transfer to another doctor when I get to Texas. I was going through spiritual warfare everywhere. And I'm like, why am I going through so much when Yacht revealed it to us to leave? He made the provision. He made everything else smooth. But there was still spiritual warfare. There was like a, a um, the enemy was just trying to stop us from going. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what happened like that... Um, you know, from him trying to come after me, you know, it's going to happen to the woman. Revelation 12, when you're trying to escape to the wilderness, the enemy, the, the dragon, he's going to try to come after us again, too. <laughs> so, my brothers and my sisters, um, Yah wants to, you know, wants me to hyper focus on to not worry about um, how and when, okay? Don't don't worry about the hows and the whens and no 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 no. Just worry about being prepared because when Yah, um, you know when when we were being told to move right, um, Yah had us in preparation. Our things were already packed. They were in the storage, already packed. Everything was cleared out. Um, we had we we had us um, um, praying and fasting. Um, we had you know money saved. Yah gave us provision. We were we were already prepared. So when the time came, when the time came, he would he just he just he just told us he told us right before we left the same week we left, maybe the, maybe like three days. Let's say he he told us on Saturday we left Monday or t Tuesday. You understand? That's how quick it was. So. We're just worried about preparing yourself spiritually, um, getting yourself right with Yah, doing what he's telling you to do. That's what he wants you to focus on, not on how and when and this and that and the third. No, 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 no. When the time comes, he's going to do it. He's going to, he's just going to, he's going to move you out. He's going to, he's going to move you. Um, just like how he, like he told, like he did for me when I was leaving New York. And that was the first exodus of leaving Babylon for me, me personally, because New York represents Babylon for me. Where, who shall? Compared to where I live now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He has his prophets um, prophesying in part right now concerning um, the second exodus. Um, he's, re he's, re he's revealing little by little, but not all. Because uh, if, okay, for example, if I knew that I was moving to Texas a month pr prior to moving, oh, my family would have tried everything to try to stop me because they was not happy about it at all. So the, Yah knew this. So this is why he re he revealed where we were going the same week when we were leaving. 
I didn't have enough time to know where we were leaving. It was impulse. It was following Yah, like blind faith. Okay. Um, so he didn't, he didn't leave no room for the enemy to come and try to stop me because this was something predestined by Yah to get us out at that time. Um, because again, the governor changed, was changing and she, she came with a whole bunch of laws that did, did, that did not fit my life in my husband's life, in my children's life, okay, it would have, it would have affected us, but Yah took us out right before that happened, so he revealed to me, through, in the secret place, what happened, how he took, how the rate, the, how he took me out, is similar to how it's going to happen again, so even us, we're not going to know when it, when it happens, when, when the time, when the time comes, it's going to happen, he's going to, he's going to do it on his own, um, so he wants us to just prepare now, you know, set, set some things aside, start packing, you know, get, get things ready, follow his instructions. Each household has instructions, spend time in the secret place, pray and fast, seek him and ask him what to do um, for that time. But when the time comes, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to, Yah has been moving his children to the coastline states for these last couple of years now he's been doing that and he's still doing that um a lot of people are moved or migrating um closer moving to the coastline states because there's a reason for that Yah has revealed to me he showed me ships okay um if you read isaiah 60 it talks about the ships of tarshish um um okay in ships we came and in ships we shall return. He he brought us to captivity, you know, for disobedience. Okay, and now he's taking us out of captivity. We are returning back home to our homeland. Okay, we're going into the wilderness, but it's only the people who are getting that call from him. It's only the people who have been following him. Um, let me see what it says. Revelation twelve. Um. And um, Revelation twelve seventeen, and the dragon was angry at the woman and declared war against the rest of her children, all who keep God's commandments and maintain their testimony for Jesus. All who keep God's commandments and maintain their testimony. It says it right here. So if you're not if you're not living a holy if you're not living a holy life, if you over here. Being lukewarm, he, he going to spit you out. And you're going to have to um, profess your faith with the Antichrist. Okay? Um, you know, guillotines and, you know, stuff like that. Okay? Going through um, hard times with the mark of the beast and so tribulation. Okay? Only the people who, who keep God's commandments and maintain a testimony. All who keep... A testimony of Jesus, Yahushua Mashiach. And even when we get to the wilderness, there's still going to be more refining to do. Our Yah is holy. He's holy. He's going to make sure he, he, he takes away all spots and wrinkles. There's no way you're making it in front of a holy Elohim without being holy. You know, and the church is divided. As we know it, there's the bride of Christ. And then there's the church. And then there's the lukewarm, you know, who will be who will be spit out. You you can't be lit, you can't have one foot in the door and one foot out. No, you cannot. Yah will spit you out. He destroyed the whole world. He flooded the whole world before. He only saved eight people. He'll de man. The same way you're not making it to, you know. Um, heaven with having a uh, bitterness in your heart and unforgiveness and, you know, um, you know, having a, you know, a, being a bad person and having a bad heart, not having the fruits of Yah, you know, the same way you're not get, making it in by wearing makeup and, um, dressing like a prostitute or a harlot wearing tight clothing and, you know, doing all of these things that women are doing nowadays, you know, looking like the world, not being set apart and peculiar um, through your outward appearance, okay? 
it's the bo it's both your heart and what's going on on the outside inside and outward holiness you bo they both have to match yah's yah's appearance okay yah's light you have to okay so right now at this point i'm just rambling so let me just stop okay i just wanted to um hyper focus on this video on the similar similarities of me leaving new york um compared to how um it's going to be when we actually leave babylon from captivity and go into the wilderness um a place of safety okay um yeah just you know do the secret place just meditating on in yah's presence he was just like opening my eyes like revealing to me like this is you see what happened when i took you out of new york and how it happened um that's that's is similar to how it's gonna happen when i exit you out um and bring you to the wilderness okay so yeah that's all um yeah my name is sister mildred thank you for watching for christ we live for christ our flesh dies until next time shalom <laughs>